Why is silicon photonics important? If you had this capability to transmit 50 gigabits per second between two devices, you're talking about transferring an HD movie in less than a second. We've taken the benefits of optical communications, the fact of having lasers through fiber, very far, very fast, and combine that with the benefits of silicon manufacturing, integration, Moore's Law. You have to understand 10 years ago, you know, and even to a few years ago, when you started saying well, then, uh, silicon is an optical material, it doesn't make any sense. And even when I started this team, you know, I remember recruiting a few people. Um, if, they, if they tell you why they're on a team, honestly, they'll tell you, we didn't think it would work. It's not that we had the world's best optics experts. I think the combination of this is having a few laser experts, having a few material science experts, having a few circuit experts. It's like putting you know, a man on the moon. If you bring all the people who spent the last 20 years trying to get to the moon, you won't get there because they'll tell you all the reasons why it won't work. I like to take bets, so we'll maybe walk out here with a bet. My parents are immigrants from Italy. You know, my, my, we didn't have a lot of money. My dad would just, was very adamant about having his kids go to college. My dream was to come to Silicon Valley ever since I was a kid. I pulled over on the highway at 101 and I got out of the car and I looked around and I said, holy cow, I actually made it to Silicon Valley. Maybe it's a flaw that I have that it's never good enough, it's this mountain to the next mountain. And I think people don't know what they're capable of. Prior to 2001 or 2002, the fastest modulation in silicon was 20 megahertz. We went public in 2003 with the first Nature paper. The paper title was greater than one gigahertz. When we actually published that paper, it was two and a half gigahertz. A year later, we demonstrated 10 gigabits per second. A year and a half later, 2007, 40 gigabits per second. First hybrid silicon laser in 2006. In 2010, an integrated 50 gigabit per second link with integrates lasers, modulators, detectors. We can do now 100 gig. We can do 200 gig. You can imagine doing a terabit per second in the next couple years. At a terabit per second, you're talking about transferring or downloading a, a season of HD TV from one device to another in less than a second. It's gonna allow us to keep up with Moore's Law and allow us to move information and constantly feed Moore's Law in our processors. And so we won't be limited anymore by the interconnect or the connectivity. We now have the Legos, right? That now we can put these photonic devices together on silicon. You can't imagine 10 years from now, but hopefully people will come up with things that we've never thought of. But when you integrate those things together, what are the new devices and capabilities that will be enabled by this fundamental technology?